Hi there, I just wanted to demonstrate how to make your very own moisturizer using a few simple ingredients. Before you get started, you need to start planning your moisture out a couple days in advance because you wanna think about what essential oils you want to include. And then you want to give the essential oils at least a day to synergize and blend together thoroughly before adding your carrier oils and other ingredients. So for my moisturizer, I decided to do one that focused on improving the appearance of the skin. And so the essential oils that I selected were myrrh, lavender, and frankincense. And I'm going to add those to an amber glass bottle. Um, and I've chosen to use a spray lid. What I like about that is uh, I control how much product I get in my hand so I can just squirt a little bit into my hand and then apply it wherever I need it. So those are the oils that I'm going to use today. I'm gonna start with 10 drops of frankincense. because myrrh is a thick oil, you don't need very much of it. So I'm just gonna add about three drops of that. Okay, and if you ever get some gunk around your myrrh, um, don't worry about that. What you want to do is get some carrier oil instead and coat the inside of your bottle with the carrier oil. It's gonna make it a lot easier for the bottle to come on and off. There, I'm gonna add 10 drops. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now that all my essential oils have been added to my glass bottle, I'm gonna live, give that a little bit of a swirl. Just want all those oils to blend together. So that way when I use my moisturizer, every spritz that I get is going to have those three essential oils in it. If you don't give your oils time to blend and mix together, you might end up with a spritz that has more lavender or more frankincense or more myrrh, but if I wanna get them all mixed together, this is how I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna wait at least 24 hours and then we're gonna add the other ingredients to this facial moisturizer. Welcome back. So I just wanna finish my moisturizer that I started yesterday. The essential oils have been synergizing for over 24 hours. So now I'm ready to add my other ingredients to make this a wonderful um, moisturizer that's gonna smooth the skin and just enhance the appearance of the skin. So the first thing that I'm going to add to it is an eighth of a teaspoon of vitamin E. Vitamin E is a very thick oil, but it's great for the skin and actually acts as a natural preservative. So I'm going to add that in carefully. So it's just a small amount. But I want all of that good stuff in there. Takes a little bit of patience. Okay. And as I go, I'm just going to swirl it in. You don't want to do a whole lot of shaking because uh, that just isn't good for the essential oils. So we're just swirling it as we go. Then I have an organic um, argan oil, and I'm going to add just a half a teaspoon of that. Argan oil is also great for the skin. So I'm gonna add that again. Give it a little bit of swirl. And then for the amount of essential oils that I added, I'm just going to add two tablespoons of sweet almond oil. As you can see, some of that came out, so I'm going to have to add a little bit more. I wasn't very doing a very good job pouring. And then because I was not very tidy doing that, I'm going to add just a little bit more. 
since it kind of spilled out the side. So I'm just gonna stir that around. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Although this is a two ounce container, I only filled it up about halfway. So it has about an ounce of product inside of it. The reason that is, is once you start and you open up your carrier oil, it can go bad in three to six months or so. So you wanna make smaller batches of your ingredients so that they'll last longer and you don't waste anything because the carrier oil has gone rancid. So hopefully with the vitamin E inside, it'll preserve it better and I can use every last drop of this wonderful moisturizer. And then the great thing about making your own moisturizers is you can add whatever essential oils are going to be beneficial for you and your skin type. So depending on what issues that you may have or what you're going for, your skin type, um, then you can decide what carrier oil you're going to use in your homemade moisturizer. So the sweet almond oil is a really nice um, all around carrier oil, but if you had oilier skin or clogged pores or were dealing with acne and that sort of thing, hemp seed oil might be a better choice for you. Or some people like to use the jojoba oil. Uh, sunflower seed oil is also a light oil. Um, so there's a lot of options and you can research that to find out what's gonna be the best for what you're going for and what your skin needs. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you could like and subscribe or maybe share, that would be amazing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you again soon.